Hey there, ancient Greek geometry students. Um, I thought it might be helpful to show you a uh, concrete example um, of the type of thinking that we're doing in this project so that you can then apply it to the abstract triangle that we're actually working with in the project. Okay, so what we have here is this triangle ABC. Okay, and unlike the triangle in the project, we actually know the measurements, or most of them. So we know that um, we have side CA equal to 20, and we have angle BCA with a measure of 72 degrees, and angle CAB with a measure of 65 degrees. Um, now, a triangle with those two angles will have uh, side AB approximately equal to 28. Um, let's just pretend that it's exact for uh, the purposes of this example. Um, and similarly, we'll have um, side BC approximately 26. All right. So this is a concrete triangle with these actual measurements. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to illustrate some of the thinking uh, behind this proof. So let's suppose that our goal is to find this missing angle over here, theta, without using the fact that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. Remember, we're in ancient Greeks, right? We don't know that this is true yet. So uh, here's the idea of how you would find this angle without using, you know, 180 minus 72 minus 65, right? The first step is to draw the midpoints of each side, okay? So L, M, and N. Can we connect these with line segments? All right. And if these are the midpoints, right, well, that means that they cut each side in half. So LC is going to have a length of, well, what's half of 26? Half of 26 is 13, and BL is also 13. And, and in the same way, CM is 10, and MA is 10. And AN is 10, no, nope, 14, and NB is 14 as well. All right, so we have uh, constructed the midpoints and connected them. Now, the first step of finding out what theta is, let's just start proving things similar, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this triangle, MLC, just like in the project. Okay, so triangle MLC, we want to prove that it's similar to triangle, the big triangle, ABC, okay, ABC. All right, so let's take a look here. Well, I first thing I noticed that 13 is half of 26, okay, and 10 is half of 20, okay, and both of these triangles share this angle that is 72 degrees. Okay, so that's indicating to me, since we have two sides and the angle between them, I'm probably going to go with side angle side. So uh, let's walk through this. Well, segment uh, BC on triangle ABC. Actually, let's do it this way. Segment BC, okay. That's equal to 2 times segment LC, right? Um, LC is 13 units long. BC is 26, which is 2 times 13, okay? Um, so that's the first side, okay? The angle is 72, so angle L, right, LCM, LCM is equal to, well, angle BCA is the exact same angle as LCM, and everything is equal to itself, so uh, 
they're both equal to 72 degrees. Okay, and then the last side, segment CM, 2 times segment CM is the length of segment CA, right? 2 times 10 is 20. And so we have proven that uh, triangle MLC is similar to triangle ABC by side angle side. All right, now a couple of questions we can answer right off the bat. Because these triangles are similar, that means that the corresponding angles have to be equal. Well, what angle corresponds to CAB? Um, well, it's got to be CML, right? Um, because the point M is kind of in the same spot where the point A would be on ABC. So that is 65 degrees, just like the angle over here. OK, second thing we can figure out is what's this missing side over here? Well. Um, We've cut every side in half to get the side, uh, every side of ABC in half to get the sides of MLC. So um, if we cut 28 in half, we get 14. So this has to be a side of length 14. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing with, I like this blue better. We're going to do the same thing with this triangle over here, triangle ANM, right? So let's prove triangle ANM is similar to triangle ABC. All right. Similarly to before, okay, so we need a side, an angle, and a side. First, we notice that um, segment MA has length 10, whereas segment CA has length 20, right? Excuse me. 2 times segment CM is equal. 2 times segment MA is equal to segment CA, right? The angle they have in the angle that these two triangles have in common, triangle A and M and triangle A B C, is angle C A B, right? So angle M A N equals angle C A B, right? M A N is the same angle as C A B. They're both equal to sixty-five degrees. Okay, and lastly, uh, uh, segment AN, two times segment AN gives us the length of segment AB. Right, two times 14 gives us 28. Okay, we've shown that these are similar. SAS similarity. And because the side ratio is half, right? This triangle is again half as large as the large triangle in terms of side lengths. Um, that means this side over here, NM, which corresponds to the side BC, has to be, well, half of 26 is 13, so it has to be of length 13 units. All right, um, let's zoom out a bit. Okay, next we need to prove Well, this triangle is similar to the big triangle. In other words, triangle NLB, similar to triangle ABC. OK, how do we do that? Well, same as the other two, side angle side. OK, 
okay, um, the angles that they share. So angle NBL and angle ABC are equal. They're the same angle. They both have a measure of theta. We don't know what theta is yet, but it is some number, right? Um, the other two pairs of sides I'll leave for you to figure out, okay? But trust me that they do work, and so we can actually prove that these two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. Um, I feel that I wouldn't be doing my job as a teacher if I gave you every single step of this, right? So. Because these triangles are similar, what we'll find is that the side ratio is one half, and so that means that uh, this side, LN, has a length of 10 units. Or I should say NL. Okay. Now, the final uh, part. Oh, my bad, I forgot one angle. So, in triangle ANM, right, uh, this angle would be 72 degrees um, because it corresponds to um, angle BCA. Angle NMA corresponds to angle BCA. Okay. Final step. Prove that triangle um, prove the triangle LMN is similar to triangle ABC. Okay. Now, we don't actually have any angle information about triangle LMN, right? We don't have this angle, we don't have this angle, and we don't have this angle. But we do have all three sides. So let's use side, side, side. Well, side LM is half the length of side AB. Okay. Or another way of thinking about that is 2 times LM gives us AB. In the same way, 2 times MN equals BC. And 2 times uh, NL, right, NL over here. 10 gives us the length of CA, which is 20. Okay. Thus showing that the triangles are similar by side, side, side. All right. Now, side LM corresponds to side AB. Okay. And side... MN corresponds to side BC. So what's the angle between AB and BC? Well, that's just theta, okay? So that means that this angle down here has to also be equal to theta. All right. Now let's zoom in. Okay, let's just take a look at these three angles by themselves. Okay, and let's even forget that they're part of a triangle for a second. Let's just think of this as... Um, you know, you, all you've got are a couple of, are three angles that together make up this big angle. Well, this big angle is actually a straight angle, right? So that means that, in other words, all three of these angles have to add up to 180. Okay, so 65 degrees plus theta plus 72 degrees, all of that adds up to 180, 
right? But here's the thing. Um, that means that we can uh, easily find theta by just subtracting the other two numbers from 180. So theta equals 180 degrees minus 65 degrees minus 72 degrees or 43 degrees. Okay. But, okay, so that's the answer we were looking for, but let's back up a bit. Let's forget about this for a second. Does this reasoning require the numbers to be this way? If I had changed this to 73 and this to 64, would the reasoning be any different? No. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what the measures of these angles are as long as you know they're reasonable for a triangle. So suppose that instead of 65, we had uh, theta A, and instead of uh, just theta, we had theta B, and instead of 72, we had theta C. Well, we would have ended up with theta A, theta B, and theta C down there, and they would have added up to 180. Okay, so that's your clue for how to do the project. Don't think, don't let the variables overwhelm you, okay? They're just stand-ins for numbers, all right? As long as you're able to remember what they represent, side lengths and angles, you should be fine.